Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is handling. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and watch the introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and an outline of the material that we will cover. In the executive series, we have a standard agenda which covers four items. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, handling, comes directly from 820.140 and 1345 sections 4.2.3, 7.1, and 7.5.11. Handling in five words. Prevent damage during product handling. We have to have a procedure that defines the controls needed to protect our product during movement and handling. The procedure must ensure that we prevent mix-ups, damage, deterioration, contamination, or other adverse effects that may, be, that may result from improper handling of the product. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, I've defined a procedure that outlines how I protect my product during movement and handling. Second, I've implemented the needed controls in place to protect that product during movement and handling. And then finally, I don't have any complaints or recalls related to damaged product that is a direct result of poor handling practices. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, I don't have a procedure that defines how to handle product. Second, product is damaged during handling, which leads to complaints and recalls. And then finally, operators don't understand the importance of handling the product correctly and during everyday manufacturing, storage handling, the product is damaged, resulting in NCRs and complaints. And now for those three bonus questions. Can you explain the procedure and process for how we handle product to ensure that it's not damaged? Do we have any internal NCRs or any complaints related to damaged product that have been linked back to improper product handling? What controls have we implemented in process to protect our product from damage during movement and handling? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.